Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata and I'm here once again to give you your daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today I have some news concerning the PlayStation 4. Uh, Sony has revealed today a number of tidbits surrounding the new console, primarily that its party chat functions will be free to use, which will of course mean that you will not need a PlayStation Plus subscription in order to take advantage of that feature. And of course that does differ from the Xbox 360 and Xbox One, uh, so PS4 owners will not need to pay to chat online or to use online based apps such as Netflix and the like. Of course, the PS4 does need you to be a PS Plus subscriber in order to play online games, however, Sony has clarified today that this charge does not apply to free to play games. So if the PS4 has a number of free to play games, which I will assume it will, since free to play is pretty much booming at the moment and I don't see that boom going anywhere for quite some time. Uh, you will not have to have a PlayStation Plus subscription even if that free to play game is heavily online based which most of them are and of course this is one thing that the Xbox will charge you for even if you're playing a free to play game you will need of course an Xbox Live subscription in order to play it. And they did also confirm that PS4 friend lists will allow you to have up to 2,000 friends, which is double the limit of the Xbox One 1,000 friend limit. And they did also touch on a little bit concerning the new DualShock controllers, as a lot of people were wondering whether or not you would be able to use the older DualShock 3 controller with the PlayStation 4, and the answer to that sadly was no, you cannot use the DualShock 3 with the console. However, they did say that if you're the owner of a PlayStation Move, that will be perfectly compatible with the console, which is a fairly nice little deal. I mean, some people might not get on well with the DualShock 4 controller, but unfortunately the DualShock 3 just won't be compatible with the new console. So, some fairly nice tidbits revealed about the PlayStation 4. There were some more other bits revealed, such as some PlayStation Network details, such as will you be able to keep your current PSN ID, and the answer to that was yes, but if you want to watch the full video, I will put a link in the description so you can give it a watch, but I think I've covered most of the important information here in this video. I think the one that most people wanted to know about was the... Um, free to play where you have to pay for that and the party chat function as well as the DualShock 3 as well those seem to me the most um, pressing questions concerning the PS4 so happily they have answered them anyway that is me done for this video I hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time